Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. Here we are going to solve remove duplicates from sorted array coding problem. So given a sorted array nums, remove the duplicates in place such that each element appear only once and return the new length. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with a constant extra memory. So for example, input array nums that 112, your function should return length of 2 with the first two elements of nonce being 1 and 2 respectively. It doesn't matter what you leave beyond the return nonce. And second example, if the input array that's a 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, your function should return nonce of 5, with the first five elements of nonce being modified to 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 respectively. So it doesn't matter what values are set beyond the return nonce. And here also a clarification. So confuse why the return value is an integer, but your answer is an array. So note that the input array is passed by reference, which means modification to the input array will be known to the caller as well. So internally, you can think of that if we call a function passing down the input array, and if we change it, like this input array, change the order of elements inside, and uh, when using the length returned by the function, it will print the uh, first, uh, first uh, length size uh, elements. So first length size element. So this is a clarification like uh, for this neat code. Um, like we are using custom test case to if we write some codes and we use a custom test case to check our solution. So that uh, we see like the return value is uh, integer type. And if we uh, run the code here using custom test case, it will print this array, print the first element of this array. So the keyword of this um, uh, coding problem is an in place. So in place algorithm. So in place algorithm is an algorithm which transforms the input using no arbitrary data structure. So like a in place algorithm updates the input sequence only through the replacement or swapping the elements. So like uh, the example mentioned, like if we have this input array and we change the order of the elements, like we make the distinct elements inside this array group to the first uh, few places inside this array. So that we use a in-place algorithm to do that because we are just uh, changing the order of the elements inside the array. Okay, so let's see how can we use an in-place algorithm to solve this coding problem. So here, suppose we have this input array 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. And our goal is to use an in-place algorithm to find the length of the distinct elements. So here, we can introduce a two-pointers technique two pointers technique. So one faster pointer, one slower pointer. So at the beginning, the i and j both put at the first place. Then we are going to make the faster pointer, suppose it is a j, to move to the right. So j, then see the, this array length. So make the j right forward. So we are going to compare, the, compare whenever the j move to the right, we should compare the current place j elements value with the current i place element value. So if they are not equal to each other, we are going to increase slower pointer and uh, also update the slower pointer place elements value to the current current faster pointers value. So let's work through this example and you will understand this for loop. So here we have this uh, faster pointer. So first make the fast pointer move to the right. 
move to the right and we come here. If they are equal to each other, current uh, slower pointer and current uh, faster pointer place element, their values are equal to each other. We do nothing and just uh, keep make the fast pointer to the right. So fast pointer to the right. Now they are different. They are different. They are different so that we need to move the slower pointer to the right. Slower pointer to the right. And also update the slower pointer value. And then keep make the fast pointer to the right. So here the fast pointer still equal to the current slow pointer's value. So we do nothing and make the fast pointer to the right. And again, they are different. So they are different. We make the slower pointer to the right. To the right, but also we should update the current slower point uh, value to the current uh, faster pointer's value. And then keep moving, make the faster pointer to, to the right. And again, it's uh, still same. same. And we keep moving the fast pointer to the right. So here, this is a faster point place. And uh, now they are different. So we make the slower pointer to the right. To the right. And um, also update the current slow pointers of element value to the current fast pointers elements value. Now, uh, since fast pointer already reached to the end of this array, we stop. And now we have the current i slower pointer stop at the fourth element in this array. And um, here we already get the distinct elements of this uh, uh, array. You see, all the non-duplicate elements are grouped at the first four place in this array. Now, if we try to return the the uh, return the non-duplicate array, that would be the first four elements. And here we can simply return. If we try to get its length, we can simply get the user i return y i plus 1 because uh, i is an index so here 0 1 2 3 so 3 and plus 1 that's a 4 so we get the uh, length of 4 that's a length of uh, non duplicate elements in this array so we made a change and using the in place algorithm since we are not introduced any other uh, extra space we just um, changing the order of this original input array. So that's, we successfully use an in-place algorithm to do that. Okay, go back to the coding. So I'll demonstrate in Java to coding this example or this problem. So first we can make some edge case check. Suppose this input array is not a valid array and uh, in that case, we can just uh, simply return zero. Otherwise, we can first introduce a slow pointer and then have a for loop to uh, iterate our fast pointer. So as we mentioned, Whenever we move the faster pointer, we are going to compare the fast pointer place elements value with the current slow pointer place elements value. So if the current faster pointer's value not equal to current slow pointer's value, so we are going to increase, make the slow pointer right forward and also update the slow pointer's value to the current uh, faster place value. So we move the non-duplicate element 
to the uh, beginning of this uh, array. If then they are equal, we do nothing. At the end, we can simply um, the length is just uh, the when we finish the the, the first pointer reach to the end, and then this for loop ends, and we can just uh, simply return the slow pointers uh, place plus one. So that's a length of the non-duplicate element. Okay, so let's click the submit. Accept it. So this is a correct solution to solve this uh, remove the duplicates from sorted array coding problem. As you can see, like uh, as we just use uh, changing the order of the elements, we successfully use the in-place approach to solve this coding problem. So this is uh, all about this coding problem. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscription to Good Taker uh, channel. So see you next time.